What is up, everyone? Dark Side Phil here. Today is December 4th. Yes, December 4th, 2012. And welcome to Release Day Unboxing. And to be quite honest, this is probably going to be the last Release Day Unboxing of the year. And what a year it's been for games. In more ways than one. Some good, some bad. Um, but yeah, this is the last major retail release of the year. There are some odds and ends, you know, coming out near the end of the year, but it's nothing in particular that I'm like, oh, I have to play that, and blah, 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 so. All right, Far Cry 3, as you can see, and I have, uh, I have some stuff to say about this game, because I have some history with, with it, actually. Um, but let's get started by talking a little bit about the version, because I know the number one, before people even press play, they're going to see the thumbnail, and I'm going to hear it. Yes, I got it for Xbox 360, and there's a couple different reasons why I did, um, and I'm going to explain them right now, so hopefully people are listening and not just, like, raging because they're PC fanboys and they're flipping out. Uh, number one, when I do record on PC, it's a slightly different layout than when I record uh, for consoles. When I record on PC, I actually have to have a keyboard and such in front of me, and because of that, I have to actually lift up my coffee table and therefore I can't use my, my normal tripod, I have to use a mini tripod. It's a little bit more of a complicated setup, let's put it that way. And being that my back hasn't exactly been so great recently, especially since Hurricane Sandy when I kind of stressed it out and it's been hurting more, um, I want to make this as easy as possible to make the playthrough. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I know a lot of people like to say, oh, Phil has a oh, top-of-the-line PC gaming rig. And he doesn't, oh, he doesn't really play many PC games on it. We don't understand why. Why does he always get the console versions of games? And the answer is quite simple. Because the console versions usually are guaranteed to work. The console version has a unchanging configuration of hardware for which the game developers develop the game. When you buy the game for the Xbox 360 or the PS3, probably 97% of the time, you're going to be able to pop that game in. It's going to run. You're not going to have any problems. Oh, there are the rare exceptions. Uh-oh, my red, red ring. Or the game locks up and crashes and game bugs. But for the most part, I've been pretty successful playing games on console. PC, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it works fine. Like, if you remember during my Skyrim playthrough last year, which I did do fully on PC, um, there were many benefits. I was able to quick save all the time. I was able to use the debug menu to get myself out of certain areas where I was stuck. Uh, but there were also some failures. If you remember, the game crashed several times um, right in the middle of my playthrough. The game had graphical issues, such as, remember, some of the purple dragons and such that were going on in the game. So there were some positive things, and there were some negative things. I think by far, the PC version of Skyrim was the way to go, simply because I played the game for so long. If I had to screw with my playthrough because I got stuck in a wall or something, that would have been pretty upsetting. Okay, But here's the thing. That was a year ago. And what I've been noticing over the past year, and being completely honest with everyone, my PC, number one, doesn't run as fast as it used to. Number two, is starting to not really run things very well anymore. And number three, let's be honest, it's a year and a half old, and it wasn't really even top of the line when I got it, so it's getting outdated at this point, okay? And what a lot of people don't seem to realize, even though I've said this many times, is that the PC isn't optimized. It, has, it doesn't even work properly. They, I think they installed something like 16 gigs of RAM in it, only 8 gigs of RAM can even be seen by, the, by Windows. So it was either installed improperly or there was too much RAM put in there and it wasn't done correctly. In addition to that, my graphics card over the past several weeks has crashed several times. Like, I'll just be doing random shit on the internet, uploading or, or, or doing encoding a, a, mo a movie, and uh, boom, my monitor will go black. Then it'll come back and say, oh, your NVIDIA drivers crashed, but we've, we've re restarted them and everything's fine. So I can tell you right now, my PC, it's about two years old now, and it's, it's on its way out, meaning it's going to be, you know, it's able to do basic stuff. I can still do basic video editing like you see in this video here. I got logos and stuff on the video. But for gaming, for high-end stuff, it's not going to be up to par anymore. And I'm at the point where probably if I do want to continue PC gaming, I'm going to have to buy a new PC. Okay, and this time it's going to have to be something that someone professional makes because unfortunately, like I said, when this thing was made for me, there were errors made. Let's put it that way. So I would rather just pay for something that I know is going to work, even though it's way overpriced, rather than pay for something that I have no idea if it's going to work. And in this case, it really didn't work out that well. 
Um, so yeah, so the bottom line is my PC is not up to par to really be playing the new games. I'm sure that Far Cry 3 would have run on my PC, but I probably would have had graphical problems. Like I said, I probably would have crashed a lot. And for the amount of hassle that it is to record the PC playthrough, it's just not worth it. It's a lot easier. I got the game now. I'm going to pop it in my Xbox. Yes, there will be less detail on the graphics. Yes, there'll be more screen tearing. But I'm recording in 720p and uploading to YouTube. You don't see much of a difference, okay? And this is funny because people say to me, Oh, my Diablo 3 playthrough was a horrible mess because I recorded with a 720p camera and you couldn't read the text. Guess what? Why the fuck do you have to read the text? When you're watching my playthroughs, I thought you were watching for gameplay, for story, and for my commentary. Why do you need to read every minute piece of text? Like, I don't, just don't understand, okay? There are people who do direct capture. There are people who do this kind of stuff. If you're looking for the 1080p, 60 frame per second, direct capture version of a Far Cry 3 playthrough, you probably shouldn't have come to my page. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why people, like, absolutely just come here for the wrong reasons. So, if that's the case, I apologize. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. If you were looking for that, that's not what I'm doing. I'm going to do a playthrough of Far Cry 3 on the Xbox 360. It's easier, it's more consistent, and I also actually like to play the game without any problems. Especially because, like I said, my computer's not so hot, and I'm going to be doing year-end video series and stuff, so I don't think it's going to really behoove me to be playing a PC game and then trying to, to overload the graphics card with video editing, it's going to be a mess. This way, I can even be playing this game while I'm doing video editing on my PC at the same time, and it all works out. So if time management works, ease of use it works, it's, it works on all levels. So, all right, that's enough talking about why I got this for the Xbox 360. Holy shit. So now let's talk about the game itself, Far Cry 3. Far Cry is a very unique series of games. Because if you've been around since the beginning, since Far Cry 1, like I was, you know the game has never been the same thing. It's never been the same story, the same characters. Even the general premise of the games really isn't the same. The only thing that's remained consistent is this. It's a first-person shooter with an open world that you can explore. That's pretty much been the extent of Far Cry. So, the first game, you are on a tropical island, and... You know, there were some mercenaries out to get you, but then you found out that there was all kinds of mutations and experimentations and aliens and shit involved. It was nuts. Far Cry 2, completely different. You were, like, in, in Africa, and you were going against cartels and drug lords who were fighting for power and vying for power, and it was more of a, that kind of a game. This game, you're again, you're back on a tropical island. The island is being run by some kind of mercenary group. There's some kind of business transactions involved. There's native peoples. It's different. Again, it's a different plot. And you know what? That's kind of refreshing in this day and age to have a series that remains pretty good, even though it, it reimagines itself so many times. It's not just your typical, oh, look, it's another fucking Master Chief generic story. It's actually something original. And I, I actually like that about the game. So, all right, Far Cry 3, from what some people are saying, extremely long, because it is an open world game, it is what you make of it, you can beat it quickly, or you can beat it, uh, in a, you know, take your time with it, similar to what I did with Skyrim last year, and I'm really feeling that that's where this playthrough is going to go, if I like the game, that's what I mean, if I'm having fun with it, if I'm enjoying it, I'll take my time with it, and this will be the game for December, to take us into the new year. If I don't like it that much, I'm probably not going to do that. So we're going to have to see what happens, okay? But anyway, here we go. Far Cry 3, and as you see, I did get the strategy guide, because when people say the game's long, I do like to know, you know, if I get stuck or whatever, I do like to, to, to figure stuff out. So Far Cry 3, nice full-color strategy guide from pretty big games. They always do a decent job. Here's the game itself. Journey into the heart of insanity. Far off the charts lies an island unlike any other. A place where heavily armed warlords traffic in slaves. Where outsiders are hunted for ransom. And as you embark on a desperate quest to rescue your friends, you realize that the only way to escape the darkness is to ex embrace it. So, an open world first person shooter. Immense story, um, immersive storyline and island exploration. Split screen multiplayer and co-op. Yes, the game does have... A multiplayer aspect to it, but from what everyone's saying, it's completely separate from the single player campaign. So not only does it have a super long single player campaign, you also have a multiplayer aspect, and that's neat, and I may do that at a later date, but for now, obviously, I'm going to focus on the single player story. 
And this is the GameStop exclusive edition because I did reserve it at GameStop. It has four extra missions uh, that you can play uh, as a DLC. So let's take a look. Far Cry 3. And good, no passwords revealed. Very basic premise. There's your controls. Explains how Uplay works. If you don't know how Uplay works, you probably never played a uh, Ubisoft game before. Uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist. So there's a new Splinter Cell game coming out. Uh, in spring 2013, finally has a, a, a you know release window. That's good. Hey, maybe I'll actually get to finish this, that Splinter Cell before my uh, channel gets shut down, unlike last time. So all you have here, just to tell you, because I can't show you because these are the codes, you've got your Uplay Passport code, and what that gives you is your ability to play co-op and competitive multiplayer, and also to share maps that you create using the Far Cry 3 map editor. So the game even has a map editor mode, which is pretty neat. And then... I've got my, my GameStop exclusive content. It's the Monkey Business Pack. Four missions in the single player hosted by Herc and his bomb carrying monkeys. And in multiplayer, two bonus ways to humiliate your friends. Okay. <laughs> so those are your codes that you get for pre ordering the game. Pretty cool. Um, no other codes. Like they didn't put, print anything on the receipt or anything this time around. It's just it actually came in the game, which I guess is nice. But, uh,. All right, so that is release day unboxing for Far Cry 3. Again, the last retail game of the year. And, uh, you know, not to say that I'm not going to be playing any other games this year, but it is pretty cool that we've come full circle now. Uh, and we got the final game of 2012 queued up here. And I'm excited to try it out today, just so everyone understands the schedule, like I always talk about in my unboxing video. I will be starting Far Cry 3 today. I'm going to be going to be playing it all day. So expect lots of Far Cry 3 coverage today on DSP Gaming, okay? Tomorrow, I will, I, I'm debating what to do. If I really, really like the game today, I may do an, another full day of it tomorrow. Or, what I may do, which is probably what I'm going to do later this week, definitely, is take half the day to play Far Cry 3, get that footage uploaded, and then spend the second half of the day working on my year-end series. Which a lot of people, I don't think, understand how much work goes into it, because... Like I said, I am not a video editor. I am not a computer guy. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I know how to do it, but I was never went to school for it. I don't know much about it. I use a third-party shitty video editing program to do this stuff. And uh, it takes a considerable amount of time to capture the audio with a mic, to try to make sure the audio sounds good, to take video clips from these games and such, put them together, to, do, to superimpose the logos, to do the effects to gather all the music and everything, make sure the music's in time with everything that's going on in the video, and then to actually encode it and not have the fucking program crash. It's pretty time consuming. So I'll probably take, you know, three, four hours a day over the next, you know, every day over the next month or so to be working on these year-end series, and uh, it's time consuming. So you have to understand if I'm only putting up two hours of footage a day of Far Cry 3, that's probably why, probably because that's... I need to do, take time to work on the year-end series. But I'm really excited about it. More info on that. Uh, oh, my God. I was waiting for that burp to come out. Oh, more info on that later this week uh, as I determine what series I'll be starting. And also later this week, remember, there will be a poll opening up to vote. Actually, a series of polls to vote for your fan-nominated and fan-voted funniest gaming moments of 2012 where you can vote for what you thought was the funniest. So... All right, so that's it for release day unboxing for Far Cry 3. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for gameplay today.